Good day everyone, so I am Chris Nobel Iriarte. By the way, I, I, I will pour, or I report the local artist named Amosomo. So let's start. So Ferdinando or Fernando Quito Amorsolo was a portrait portraitist and painter of the rural Philippines landscapes. He was known for uh, the grand old man of the Philippine art and he was the first ever to be recognized as a national artist of the Philippines. He was born on May 30, 1892 in Metro Manila and died April 24, 1972 due to the disease. So Amorsolo is best known for his illuminated landscapes which often portrayed the traditional Filipino custom, cultures, fiestas, and occupations. So he was educated in the classical traditional and aimed to achieve his Philippine versions of the Greek ideal for the human form. So in his paintings of Filipino women, Amorsolo rejected Western ideals of beauty in favor of Filipino ideal and was fond of placing the faces of his subjects on members of his family. Amorsolo used natural lights in his painting and developed the backlighting technique or, or, or chiaroscuro which became his artistic trademark and his greatest contributions to the Philippines painting. In a topic, typically, Amorsolo painting figures are out, out find against a characteristic glow and intense light on one part of the canvas. So highlights, nervy details, so Philippine sunlight was a constant feature of Amorsolo's work. He is believed to have painted a rainy day scene only once. So Amorsolo was an incessant sketch artist of tinge drawing sketches at his home at Lunita Park and the, in the countryside he drew the people he saw around him. From the farmer to city dwellers, copying with the Japanese occupations, Amorsolo's impressionistic tendencies, which may be seen in his painting as well. So, where at their height and uh, his sketches, his figures were not completely finished, but were mere suggestions of the images. So, Amorsolo also painted a series of historical painting on pre colonial and Spanish colonization events. So, Amorsolo making of the Philippines flag in particularly was widely reproduced is the first baptism in the Philippines required numerous details, sketches and colored studies of each of its elements. So these diverse elements were meticulously and carefully set by the artist before being transferred to the final canvas. So his work on historical periods, especially his most famous work in popular cultures confessions de las Antarctic nationally or making of the Philippines flag in 1955 has been frequently reproduced in the commercial goods and has become a mainstay in Filipino popular cultures. Amorsolo also painted oil portraits of Philippine or president like General Emilio Aguinaldo, Manuel El Quezon, and Epidia Carino, and others prominent individuals such as Don Alfredo Jacob and Dunya Pura Gartiruna, plural of Camarin Sur or Camarina Sur. He also painted uh, the wedding pictures of Don Mariana Catitorina and Doña Caridad Pamintuan so, of Pampanga. So he also did a portrait of American Senator Warren Grant Magnuson, Magnuson so, 1905-1989 so, of the Democratic Party from Washington whom the Warren G. Magnuson Health Science Building of the University of Washington and the Warren G. Magnuson Clinical Center at the National Institute Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland are named after the onset of World War II. So Amorsolo's typically pastoral scenes were replaced uh, the depictions of a war-torn nations during the Japanese occupations of the Philippines during World War II. So Amorsolo spent his days at his home near the Japanese garrison where he skits war scenes from the houses, windows, or rooftop during the war, he documented the destructions of many landmarks in Manila and the pain, tragedy that they experienced by Filipino people with his subjects, including women mourning, mourning their dead husbands' files of peoples with pushcarts and makeshift bugs, leaving a dark, burning city with weed from fire and blood. Amorsolo frequently portrayed the lives and suffering of Filipina women during World War II. 
other World War II era paintings by Amorsolo includes a portrait in absentia of General Douglas MacArthur as well as self-portrait and painting of Japanese occupation soldiers. In 1948, Amorsolo War Time painting were exhibited at the Malacanang Palace, Palace after being confirmed at the St. Lucas Hospital in Quezon City. From about two months, Amorsolo died of heart failure at the age of 79. Four days after his death, Amorsolo was post homelessly honored as the first national artist of the Philippines on, at the cultural, cultural Center of the Philippines. So the volume of paintings, sketches, and studies of Amorsolo is believed to have reached more than 10,000 pieces. Amorsolo was an important influence on contemporary Philippine art and artists even beyond the so-called Amorsolo school. So Amorsolo influence can be seen in many landscape paintings by Filipino artists including early landscape paintings by abstract painting Federico Aguilar Alquas in, 19, in 2003 Amorsolo's Children Foundation the Fernando C. Amorsolo Art Foundation which is dedicated to the preserving Fer Fernando Amorsolo legacy promoting his styles and visions and preserving a national heritage through the conversations and promotion of his work so thank you for listening God bless